Hi guys, it's Track by Track Reaction Eclipse and Megalomanium 2. So we're up to track 10, the penultimate track to say goodbye. It should really be track 11, this shouldn't it? To say goodbye. You would think, think wouldn't you? You would think. Trying to figure out what the uh, song might sound like looking at the title, to say goodbye. Definitely, I reckon it's gonna be acoustic guitar, just Eric singing on his own. That sort of thing, I reckon. <laughs> I've been wrong before, lots of times. But to say goodbye, track number 10. Let's give this a go. I love this album so far. One of my favorites from Eclipse and that is saying something. Here we go, guys. What a beautiful song, man. I mean, you could say this was a ballad. I don't know, but it's such a beautiful song. It's, it's a stadium filling song. It, it makes it a criminal <laughs> that this band is not headlining festivals. It just, they sound like a massive band, like they should be headlining. Is it just me? Am I going mad? But honestly, I think that this band deserve... I mean, they've got lots of plaudits. Yeah, they have. They've got lots of fans. But it ain't enough, man, for the music they churn out. This is so universal sounding as well. And it's, this is something that millions of people could love if they actually got to listen to it. And I think that's what the problem is. Is it, you know, it's, it's weird, isn't it? I, I've got a lot of American friends and... And even never even heard of Eclipse. But I think if they heard them, they would love them. It's just getting to hear them, isn't it? I don't know how you do that. You know, they are, they're going out to America on this tour, aren't they? Just for a day or two. But, you know, what does it take these days to get to break through to America and, and be massive, you know? Or even be massive here. I mean, they're well known within the melodic hard rock circles, yes. 
but I think they could be more widespread than that even. I think their music can appeal to a lot more people that, apart from melodic hard rock, in my opinion. It's a beautiful song, man. It's a beautiful, I love that bass line. Ding, 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 ding. That's a really cool bass line, just running through them verses, man. Excellent from Victor. Um, just superb. I've got to give a shout out to Victor and Philip on this album. They just are outstanding, man. And talking to the obviously Eric and Magnus saying, you know, it's a proper band now. It feels like the band, they, you know, they're mates and all that. That means so much. And you can tell it in the music, man. It really sounds like they're having fun. They're so tight. Um, brilliant stuff. Just brilliant. Love this song, man. Here we go for the rest. I keep saying it's like one of the best songs on the album. <laughs> I keep saying that or thinking to that to myself, but it definitely is. It's like a ballad, ballad with teeth. Thanks, Mark Clower. Um, amazing song, just amazing, really heartfelt, sounding huge, lighters in the air, stadium filling music, in my opinion. This band of something special, man. They really are. They really, really are. How they can keep writing songs like this, I'll never know. But that was one amazing song. It sounded like a closer of an album as well, didn't it? The title of it, the way it sounded, it would have been the perfect closer. We've got one more song to go. Um, one in a million. So I can't wait to hear that. I can't wait to hear the last song. They always do like 11 tracks now, don't they, on an album? Um, that's like the... 11 It'd do some people's heads in wouldn't it 11 tracks <laughs> has to be even but i'm quite happy with 11 tracks it's a very you know cool length to have an album as well and clips don't fuck around do they it's four minute songs five minute songs at the most guys that was to say goodbye that was track 10 what do you think of that song in the comments below guys let me know i'll see you soon